This year we decided to start the season with an active listening playground workshop uh, held by Karen Rosenbaum. She's an interdisciplinary composer from New York City and uh, she is uh, Exclam's mentor under many points of view. The workshop was aimed at uh, creating this sense of a season or even more the sense of a community between our artists. The skill of the musicians was very high. I appreciated that. I appreciated the uh, way the dance routines connected with the theme of the program. It made it more enjoyable having, you know, the two together. And I also, I like the way that it was open for an audience of any language. I, I felt like you really wanted to know the pieces, like, mm. and when I saw you with the score, like, <laughs> or something in there, then I felt like, yeah, this is great, because you, you could, some dancers could build just like, yeah, there's, uh, let's let's do something. Really nice to observe you also, and uh, and I think we we got something new from your movements to the piece. The first perception of the reality uh, by musicians was sound based, while instead it was the other way around for the dancers. So their uh, first impact perceived of things, sounds, images, anything was their movement. So we decided to take this lead for this production. And this is why at the very beginning of the performance it's all dark and you see dancers shining with their flashlight only on body parts of the musicians that are moving. And then during the whole performance they develop these movements that they saw at the very beginning through their own movements. The workshop also had the purpose to make musicians and dancers already expand their comfort zones to a certain extent, um, which is also one of our main aims with the shows that we're developing. To expand the comfort zones of the artists on stage and of the audience. this combination theme was that the program, the reper repertoire, was a combination of many different areas. Yeah, also combination was in a sense that they were three different people from three different backgrounds with three different art forms. The strongest symbol of combination that I could think of was thinking of colors and how different colors can combine to a new color and that's why we used um, different colored liquids in the concert. I actually found it really nice in this season that there were a couple of musicians who felt safe enough to also start dancing on the stage mm. and for me those were one of the most wonderful moments in the shows to, to see the musicians doing something that they would never do in a regular concert. Yeah. And to be so free. Yes. The audience went also wild about it. We got as many feedbacks as we never would have imagined about how amazing it was when the pianist went wild.
try to do or how I see our role in these productions is that we try to look at the holistic picture of it, of the holistic concert experience. And we try to look at it from the outside and see that is there a red line? Does it make sense from beginning to the end? Um, do the musicians and the dancers feel comfortable with the ideas and with the concept and the theme? Mm -hmm. And in that sense, like trying to coach, trying to ask the right questions mm -hmm. and seeing the whole picture, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, the cello and the piano are incredible. Uh, and the dancers, everything fit well together. I, I very much enjoyed it. I think the movements and the sounds, as I said, um, kind of I don't know, brought more to the experience. Enjoyed it immensely. And I love the setting. Delighted it existed because there really aren't any classical music that's going on during the summer that we could find. I think it was a very nice experience because they were all really trying to get like inside moods and inside uh, feelings and uh, uh, atmosphere in a very artistic, modern way. It's very challenging to make a coherent uh, unity of the show because it includes so different layers and, and different art forms than in the way that it, nobody would feel like they are not uh, as important as the others. But I think we managed quite well. We decided also that we wouldn't have to necessarily be on stage all the time. So also give uh, when the music is the main thing, then it is really the only thing. This time, the symbols went before before the the theme, mm, exactly. and we just like they got they got such a creative drive that we would, didn't want to stop them, and it, we, mm. we couldn't. Uh, we just let them go and then at the end we, we tried to look at the whole thing and say if we could find one word that described it all. We came up with the word direction. tiny short ribbon thing mm. that could be the one moment in which through dance like through dance mm. dance mm. you could maybe express the freedom of that moment maybe, maybe it should be that we take the ribbons from you that it's like exchange that we gave you this character and then you give us oh, if I have the ribbon in my head yeah. situation as the sister of Felix Mendelssohn, how the situation was for her as a female composer. Fanny uh, could not publish because she was a woman, and so some of her pieces were published through, through the brother. Um, and, uh, and the dancers hearing this started saying, oh my god, that's kind of parallel because at the same time the female dancers had just as little freedom. What was common to all these categories? Freedom and confinement. Yeah. You can sit it to yourself and say it a lot. Yes. Because I, I think that the whispering is a nice idea, but it would be nice to hear it also. If with all your hearts you truly seek me. They say this phrase that comes from the Bible, actually, but was used by Felix Mendelssohn in one of his oratorios. So Fanny took it, and it was the title of the lead uh, third movement of her trio, piano trio. It was very dear to the musicians and, and the dancers, so they decided to use it and to uh, take it as a symbol of start of freedom. In the beginning of this show, Soily and Elisa, the dancers, um, act as dolls on stage moving really slowly and sort of showing this confinement. And then during the performance they become more and more free 
and use more and more symbols of becoming free and of freedom. Um, for example, by opening their own hair and in the end also opening the musician's hair. What things were new for you in this production? Well, I, I have never danced <laughs> during concerts. <laughs> I have never opened anyone's hair, especially the musician's hair during a show. Yeah. I haven't forced lipstick to my friend <laughs> and I haven't thrown notes. <laughs> it was really good. Um, I felt that it was about breaking free once they opened and then when they started cutting up the ribbon I think I got it right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've never been in this hall before. I like mm -hmm. that bird very much. And uh, she enjoyed it quite a lot. So it wasn't it wasn't too long. Somehow that I knew that I had to do something else and something funny helped me to focus on music and uh, important things in my playing. Hmm. And somehow it made us more free. Also because the dancers were going around us to open eye, uh, eyes and ears more. The space was like bigger than if we just play what mm. we are going to play. And then it helped also, I think, because we all, five of us, we believed on this anyway and we did discuss it together. So it was our ideas together. It was nice to come to concert during the middle of the day, actually. Mm -hmm. This was a very good time for, for me. Okay, easy to concentrate. It's really amazing that Sibelius Academy and by extension the Arts University understood the importance of um, this holistic project. Bring people from the different schools together, form something together, develop actually a show together and work so close for some weeks like it happened now with the artists in the season. You're the uh, Kipina. Sparkle. Sparkle. You're the sparkle. <laughs> And you made us like a, you put us on fire. <laughs> Finnish audience in particular, yes. because we learned much more Finnish. Daman, Bayern, Okerma, and then Suo Mexi, by England Mexi, and then the other phrase that we learned, Lipunundi on Samassa Kerosessa Oikealla. Then what we say at the end of every working day, Eli Menanvan.